Up next, uh, we have Corinne's father, um, Craig Anderson, and he's going to share, share a few words. First of all, I'd just like to thank everybody for coming, and uh, hopefully I can get through this without crying, because <laughs> sometimes that makes it tough. But um, if you notice up on the TV, these are videos and, and photographs of Corinne from, it started the day of the accident, actually at the accident scene, and it, it goes through, I don't know if Courtney added to it, but it goes through at least last November, <clears throat> a year ago, 21 at least. So when we brought her, when she got injured, she, we were told she'd never wake up, she'd be a vegetable the rest of her life after we finally got in the hospital to see her. Uh, and it was, you know, it was a long 10 days, we couldn't even get in the hospital because of COVID. So through all that, Quincy and I have just been blessed with a huge amount of support. Um, and, the, and that support comes from many different angles, our, our church families, um, our ag families, uh, neighbors, community, it's just been amazing, the support, the texts, the cards, the, you know, it's just above anything you can imagine. And so my point today is, is we appreciate everything that everybody does, even if it's just prayers, any kind of support. I mean, what Dr. Chuck said with faith, if we didn't have faith, we wouldn't be here today. So what I'm telling you is, um, these people, the network has been awesome, man. And, and I'll just give you a couple examples. Is I met Courtney and Jordan through, I sold them a lawnmower because of Brandon and, and Brian told them to call me. So I sold them a lawnmower. So I came here to deliver the lawnmower, didn't know anything about any of this. They were working on the old barn, and they weren't here, and I was shooting free throws, and they showed up. And we got to talking, and my daughter was... Uh, an avid softball player. Love to play softball. <clears throat> but she also liked to play basketball. And I said, you know, she's a competitor. She's one you can coach. She, she, you guys could make her better. So I asked, went home and asked Graham if she'd like to come here. And she was all about it. So she came here after practice, high school practice, stood out here in the barn behind the salamander, shot free throws, and Courtney coached her. But she coached her a lot more than just basketball. And that's the important part. So, uh, what I'm trying to say is that network is huge. I see a guy sitting here probably doesn't know me from Adam. <clears throat> James Schroeder. His grandpa hired me as a sheriff's deputy. He's 1991. And uh, <clears throat> he taught me a lot of things about how to treat people. And... Uh, Those people have been a huge part of my life. From the sheriff's office to the, the ag world to friends that, that you didn't even know you had that have reached out and said, hey, what can we do? You know, I, you know the, the end of the day is we got to have grace, we got to have faith, and you got to be humble because that's what's important. Um, all the material things don't mean much. And so Quincy and I, along with Courtney and Jordan, what we want to do is we want to pay this forward at some point once we get Corinne and, and Joe's starting to come and Quincy's helping on Thursdays with him a little bit. You know, we, we want to try to pay this forward to people because I'm telling you folks, when you walk in this hospital, we were there 98 days. You walk in those hospitals and walk down those those aisles, go into your room, and there's there's kids and there's there's people and they're human beings and they don't have a way to get better. If it wasn't for Courtney and it wasn't for the community and it wasn't for people like you, Corinne wouldn't be where she's at because people don't have a they don't have the means to they're they're restricted from the the government guidelines. You know, I mean. Crane would get two days a week, an hour a day of physical therapy if we left it up to the insurance. Nobody's going to get better with those type of injuries. But um, through prayer, through, through faith, and through God, and through the community and people like you, 
That's what makes a difference. And we just want to pay it forward at some point, and we want to be able to help people, especially in this community and, and adjoining communities that, that have bad situations. And, um, and that's just where we want to go with this. We just got to figure out how to do it. And um, this is the perfect start. And, and without Courtney and Jordan and their dedication and uh, allowing us to come here, Friend comes here five days a week, six to seven hours a day. And as you can see, for the girl that was not going to wake up and be a vegetable the rest of her life, and they told us to sign her up for a nursing home, just walked up here to see Dr. Chubb. Mm -hmm.